The past six years for Cindy Rivera's family have been agonizing. She's dead and buried somewhere. And I beg the community to help me find out where she's at. I need help and I'm begging for it. The mother of two disappeared in 2012. Her family believes Cindy was murdered. Her body never found. The case is now more than six years old. Many state leaders believe if her crime is ever solved, they fear families like hers may not get justice. We are the only state in the nation that has a statute of limitations for, for, for second degree murder. In our state, when it comes to first degree murder, that's murder that's premeditated or planned out. There is no time limit for police to make an arrest. That is not the case for second degree murder. That's murder that's not planned out, but definitely deliberate. And the time limit for an arrest for that crime, six years. Bill Rehm is a New Mexico lawmaker, a Republican and retired cop. For more than a decade, he's been trying to change that law. Rehm is not alone in his fight. My family's been the victim of homicide, and so I know how just horribly painful that is for an entire community. Mo Maestas is also a New Mexico lawmaker and a crime victim. He's a Democrat who is working with Rehm to try and change the law when it comes to the six-year time limit on solving second-degree murders. Now with DNA and all these cold cases, uh, we, need, we have the technology to convict him of a secondary murder uh, if we lift the statute of limitations. Both lawmakers say they'll try to change that law so the clock doesn't tick. Where is she? Or her body at least so I can please have peace and bury my daughter. When it comes to justice, for Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. <laughs>